a park ranger or something? Cause to me you look like some kind of puckered up asshole. your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just... Want you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along the Spoochie Beach. <sighs> And I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Cocksucker. Hey, poser. Yeah, well, you're lucky. Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How am Jimmy. I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so... Oh you're driving like a psychopath, Michael! Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own out? sent to masculinity that you think this is normal! Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. Oh man! If we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You think I've got any difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick or a Jew boy or an ass munching homo. Oh! There was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone down in the street? Hey, I never said you had learning difficulties, Jim. Well, I do, and you never cared. I just said that Dr. Freelander thought that maybe you had problems relating to people. <sighs> Relate to my asshole, old man. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like... Force a habit. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry about oh. that. Jesus Christ! Whoa. Hey, buddy. We're still running tomorrow, right? Yo, thanks. Oh. If I make it to the end of the pier first, oh. you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat
Hey, you! Hey, Two bites. Take your pick. I'll take this one. This is she? If I beat you to the end of the pier... Oh my yeah. God. You're a moron! See <laughs> Hey, you! Two bites. Take your pick. This one'll do. What? Call me. What's going on, my dude? Why would you take it? Oh. Oh. Hey, you! Two bites. Take your pick. I'll take this one. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a End of the pier. Fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. Discuss how big that TV would be, did we? That's twenty. <sighs> Whew. That's it. <sighs> Number one, pal. You owe me a TV. Hey, I never agreed to that. <laughs> you know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, well, I'm giving it my best shot. Hey, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck! Ah! Dad, wait! Dad! Oh!
Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Jake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dad? Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Our house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls could talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, Ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey. Oh, man. I like that. What's the problem? You're such a jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Go to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into that outlet! F off or my dad will like cap one of your asses! Alright! Alright! Maybe he's just injured! You killed them! Oh my god, this isn't happening! Just calm down! I did what I had to do! Let me take you back to your brother! There he is! Jimmy, you D-bag! You! You fucking asshole! Ah! Yeah, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you sent him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic, restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh, 
fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Hi. Of course. Okay, thanks for your help. You smell like shit. Hello. Sorry. What? So, where do you want to go? That's the ride, my man. Oh, taxi! <sighs> ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Tragic, but they'll do. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Yeah, hey, I need a cab. On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Thanks. Rockford Hills. In the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. 
They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. IT guy. Que pasa, amigo? All this natural light blinding you? Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so bound to social restraints... No, 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 I'm not restrained at all. I'll... I'll, I'll take a seat. Mm. See? Mm. You're relaxed already. Let the creative juices flow. Kaboom! You just got pwned, my friend. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Ugh, I need to write some product, broheem. I'm feeling the itch. Ah, won't run with the pop-ups up. Rocking out might get you in the right headspace. Hmm. My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. <laughs> My son probably wrote this. That little shitbag. There it goes. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> and that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. When we go mobile, we'll be able to Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Bye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. 
some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. Let me get the door for you. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Doomed! I doomed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Famer Shame! Stop fucking tits! No! Give me up! Mine's on fire. The most racist guy in America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! <laughs>